All right, so now that I've had to wear the Under Armour Hover Phantoms a little bit more, I wanted to give you guys my breakdown and my thoughts on how this sneaker and this Hover technology stacks up against some of the competition on the market. What is going on guys, Hess here from CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the links in the description and happy shopping. Today's video, I wanted to go ahead and cover the Under Armour Hover Phantom and give you guys my thoughts about this shoe now that I've worn it a little bit. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys find this video informative. I wanted to compare it to some of the other sneaker technologies on the market as well. But I will tell you guys from the beginning that it's getting more and more difficult to compare technologies with the um, advancements in technology. So this is a really good shoe for $130 as a base model. They also do have a version that has the Map My Run app that you can use um, to track your running, but that version costs, I think, an extra $10. Anyways, it seems like whenever you have advancements in sneaker technology, um, other companies will step up to the plate. And as I mentioned many times in the past, innovation definitely sparks competition. So there's definitely some things about these shoes that I really like and some things that I dislike. And then I'll give you guys kind of a brief breakdown of the competition that you can see in the background with Adidas Boost, the 4D, the Nike React, and the Nike Zoom X technology over on the side. So I wanted to give you guys some of the notes directly from Under Armour on this shoe. It says, point blank, you've never felt a shoe like this before. It's literally like wrapping your foot in a pillow, but one that is super light and that you'll forget is there. It's comfort that comes from an anatomically designed molded interior, the super plush knit collar, and layers of plush materials that envelop the foot. Simply put, the second that you step into the UA Hover Phantom, you'll know why we call it the whole new running experience. So as you can see, the Hover technology is in the midsole and it is the red stuff in between the lines here. So it is an encased foam, and you can see on the bottom as well. So similar to Lunar Lawn that Nike has done in the past, Lunar Lawn was a softer material encased on a harder foam. This is the same sort of thing. And this foam is really soft. I have to say it is really, really soft. And the way that the foam sits in the shoe, like kind of a mesh liner, it's kind of interesting look to it. But, and as I mentioned, they do have a knit collar on the upper and then the toe box area is knit as well and firmer along the toe guard. And this material is actually really interesting as well. It sort of feels like a neoprene material, kind of a jelly-like material. And it was themed after like biking shorts, which is kind of interesting, but it's definitely a nice touch to the shoe. And then you can see it has a heel counter on the back with the Under Armour logo. This shoe weighs about 10.6 ounces, which is less than the Adidas Ultra Boost in the same size, it's around 12. 0.6 ounces. Comparatively though, these Nike Epic React fly knits are only 8.6 ounces. The other cool thing about the shoe is the liner on the bottom of the shoe. It's actually something that I think adds a ton to the shoe. As you can see, there's a little bit of foot mapping on the bottom. It actually feels like you have like a gel liner inside. It's Under Armour Speed Foam 2.0 technology. And I have to say, I really like it. it. As soon as you try it on, it feels like you have a Dr. Scholl's like liner inside of the shoe. It's almost like a secondary effect to the hover technology. The pairing between both of those is just really, really nice. And typically like with Adidas Boost, I don't like insoles on it because I like to feel the direct cushioning of the Boost. If I had a nitpick on the shoe though, there's only two things that I would mention. One, this knit collar is a little bit rough, so you definitely should probably wear regular socks instead of ankle socks. The other one is if you had a pull tab on the heel, it would definitely be a huge improvement because it is difficult to get on your foot. So for the overall fit, I would say that they're true to size. I have a nine and a half and they fit me perfectly. And if I had to rate the cushioning system on these out of five, I would say these are probably like a 3.8. They are really good. They're definitely comfortable. I would say that these are more comfortable, in my opinion, than Nike Lunar Lawn, or you feel the responsiveness more in this. But again, if you guys have tried both technologies, weigh in in the comments and let other people know your guys' opinion. Overall, the shoe is really responsive as well. I would say maybe a three out of five. The breathability of the shoe, I would say it would be a three out of five. It's definitely a breathable shoe, which is nice in certain areas, but I could see your feet probably sweating a little bit in this section right here. I would say the durability of the shoe would be a four out of five. They have a really nice full traction sole on the shoe. And this is definitely something that is a plus. So a lot of people thought I was nitpicking with this Nike Epic React because the sole turned yellow and it got beat up pretty bad. And some of you guys were like, well, this is a wear section right here and this is a wear section already. That's just the way it comes out of the box. But you can't see is there's divots here and you can see that they actually have the, um, the paint or the bottom layer is just completely sloughed off the shoe. That's my point. That's really what I'm saying. There is a durability issue on this. Nike addressed it as a durability issue. Uh, you don't have that problem with the Under Armour for a $20 price point less because they have a full rubberized sole on the bottom. It's definitely thoughtfully placed. And I think that the heel counter and then this 
type of material adds probably to the durability of the shoe as well. Stability, I'd say, is a four out of five. I mean, this is one of those shoes that I don't have to lace it in. It feels completely stable. And also, obviously, this one is a higher cut. I would say traction's like a 3.5, maybe a four out of five as well. The traction is good. These are definitely nice rubberized nibs and it definitely feels significant. Maybe a four out of five then for the traction. Out of all the shoes out here, these things are close to the best. I mean, Adidas obviously has an amazing traction technology with the continental rubber, but um, these things are pretty awesome. And there's definitely some more texture on the traction on these ones as well. I'd say overall style on these shoes are gonna be hit and miss amongst consumers. I'll give them maybe a three out of five, maybe a three and a half. I like the look of it. I like that this is a mid top. To me personally, this is one of the better looking Under Armour sneakers to have released. I really appreciate how the technology is showcased. I like that there's minimal branding on the Under Armour logo there. And all in all, like it, it's just a clean looking shoe. A lot of people mention that these look like the Adidas Ultra Boost ATRs. They do kind of look a little bit similar. The last metric that I wanted to go over is value. Value for the shoe, I have to say for the price point of $130, it's probably like a four and a half out of five. It's The value is definitely there because the price point is so low and you get a lot of technology and comfort for the, that price point comparative to every other sneaker technology on the market. So this shoe to me, like if you're comparing to TVs, this wouldn't be like the Sony or the Samsung. This would be like the Vizio. It's cheaper than the other companies out there, but the technology is still really good. And I'm speaking from somebody that actually owns a 70 inch Vizio TV. Sometimes you don't have to pay the premium price to have a really good product. And I think that that is what Under Armour delivers in this product. So definitely happy that I got a pair. Thank you to Hibbit Sports for sending me my pair. If you guys want to shop for a pair, check the links in the description. And they do come in a low top version as well. But this hover technology is pretty cool and I definitely am interested to see where they take it. It will be interesting to see if hover technology is integrated in Curry's next uh, signature model or not. But all in all, I'm really impressed with what Under Armour delivered. As for how this shoe stacks up against the competition, if I had to place this in some sort of order comparison to the other shoes out here, as I mentioned, I think it's better than Lunar Lawn. I don't think it's better than React. I don't think it's better than Boost. I don't think it's better than Zoom X. 100% honest, it might be better than the 4D technology, but I still need to break these in though because I've heard you have to break them in at least a week before they actually get comfortable, but so far I'm not impressed just because again, we have so much competition out there. So I think that these literally fall in the middle of the cushioning technologies out there. And it's definitely something worthy of you trying on for the first time if you haven't. So that's my thoughts. Leave some comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts if they differ or not. If you have other suggestions for sneaker technology comparisons, just leave um, a comment in the comment section. I definitely try to monitor those every single day to see or hear you guys' feedback. Also, you guys can reach out to me on Twitter. That's probably the easiest way to get a reply from me and then um, as well as on Instagram. But Twitter is obviously the easiest if you guys don't follow me on Twitter. Uh, links in the descriptions to my social as well. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching and hopefully it was somewhat informative to you guys and we will catch you guys for some more sneaker videos soon. Peace guys.